What do you have for her, Johnny? <laughs> hey, bikini. Hey. Oh. Hey, hello there. Uh. Oh, how you feeling? <clears throat> All right, I suppose. Huh? Who is this? I. My name is Miles Edgeworth. My, my, my! A handsome boy such as yourself is always welcome. Oh, if circumstances weren't so tragic, I might just... You might just what? Please don't call me boy. I'm sorry to trouble you. But I'm looking for a woman in a bikini. <laughs> well, you have found her. Now what can I do for you? I'm sorry, but I don't see any bikinis. That's incredible. I was promised bikinis. <laughs> if you ask nicely, I might give you a peek, big boy. I hate this. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Edgeworth. I love how her cheeks jiggle. Yeah, it's Look very it. good. It's very good. This is the head nun, Sister Bikini. She's the witness. Why didn't you tell me that earlier? <laughs> this is exactly why your salary keeps on getting cut. Damn. Uh, God. My stomach is already growling in protest. Damn. So, um, what's the latest about my beloved Iris? Well, first, I want to hear what you know. Ooh, she's got a yeah, her serious her, face. Her serious, serious face, like, face. kind of like, yeah, damn. I know she's supposed to be like a comic relief character, yeah. but holy shit, she's creeping me out right yeah, now. Yeah, goddamn. <clears throat> First, I'd like to ask you about last night. Well, last night we had an acolyte here for training. After dinner, the two of us went to the training hall in the inner temple. She must be talking about Maya. Approximately what time was that? I suppose it was about nine when we left here. Training lasts all night long. It's extremely exhausting. The channeling dojo's head nun must be in it must be in attendance at all times to keep watch. Wow, you're right. <laughs> it does sound exhausting. Detective, this is no time for flattery. Sorry. Sometime around 11, you witnessed the incident in the courtyard? But your duty was in the inner temple. How did you come back here? Hmm. The way you're staring at me, I'm starting to get goosebumps. <laughs> oh. I'm starting to get goosebumps myself for a decidedly different reason. But she's icky and gross. <laughs> Oh, you get the chills pretty easy, don't you, Mr. Edgeworth? All right, then. I'd like you to tell me exactly what you saw in the courtyard. It must have been past 11. Uh, no, I can't say it. It's too much for my poor heart. Hey, calm down, lady. Let go of my tie. Oh, shit. I saw two people. Jesus. One of them was lying on the ground. That's a pretty serious, uh... Yeah, that's a... That's a... Pretty damning dramatic... witness, yeah. Yeah. The other one was stabbing her from the back with yeah, a because sword. Yeah, no, because witnesses in this game never lie. I mean, you're 100% right, Pridge, but I'm just saying, like... She's not wearing a costume this time, you know? <laughs> Did you see this criminal with your own eyes? I didn't wouldn't believe what I was seeing, but it was Iris. Rinse her eye. The chat says she's just doing yoga. <laughs> <laughs> Downward dog. <laughs> <laughs> you must have been quite shocked. Of course she was. Try putting yourself in her shoes. Be like if you were stabbing Mr. Wright smack in the middle of a courtroom. Listen, I only do that at home, Gumshoe. <laughs> I happen to witness it from the witness stand. I'd be pretty shocked, too. 
I know it sounds insane, but that's what I saw. And when I finally realized what I was seeing, I screamed, and then I passed out. Unfortunately for us, her testimony seems to be pretty solid. However, the idea of Iris doing such a foul act seems unnatural. Unnatural. The girl I know simply isn't capable of this sort of foulness. I wonder what she means by that. As the head nun, it's your duty to stay with the acolyte at all times, correct? Yes, that's correct. I know I may look strong, but the truth is, I've got a bad lower back. Me too. <laughs> bad lower back? Have you tried getting a gaming chair with lumbar support? There's no such thing. It's a lie. <laughs> yeah, it's a lie. It's a lie made by big gaming. Uh, get yourself a Herman Miller or get nothing at all. It's the fact. Do you have a Herman Miller, Zach? No, I do not. That's why my back hurts. I have an AK racing yeah. chair. There you go. That's our next stream goal is get us all Herman Miller chairs for $3,000. I was going to say, do you know how much Herman Miller's chairs cost? Like... <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, West, our next donation goal for the next eight years. Wes, genuinely, you have a good chance of getting one because people in New York just throw them out. Like offices will just. Do like, they really? Yes. Whoa. And like people will, like there are like listings of like oh shit they just dumped like ten Herman Millers on the street at the corner of blank and blank. What? Gen dead serious. Oh, like I, I regretted not doing it before I left New York. Ooh, I need to get on Herman Miller watch. Yeah. <laughs> dead serious. Yes, it's especially bad in the winter. Oh, so bad that I can't even lift a bucket. What? You remember how cold it was last night? My bad bag felt as stiff as frozen glass. I just wanted to take a nice hot bath to ease my aching back. That's why I returned to the main hall. You know, ignored all of my duties and responsibilities. Yeah, what? So you left the disciple all alone. Don't be ridiculous. I would never do that. But yes. That's why I ordered Iris to the inner temple after she rung the bell for lights out. Yes, but she never went to the inner temple, did she? Did this head nun even see Iris? I think I'd better try to get some more details. So, who is this acolyte that went that was to train at the inner temple? Her name is Maya Fay. I treated her very badly, I'm ashamed to say. But after she went through the trouble of signing up for the special course. Special course? How many courses is it? It sounds delicious. <laughs> it's a training session where you sit on a block of spirit ice and chant 30,000 times. You don't mean to tell me she's still doing that over at the Inner Temple, do you? No, 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 of course not. You don't have to worry about that one a little bit. Surely she's finished 3,000 times by now. Uh, 30,000, Zach. Sorry. So she's probably still doing it. Yeah, yeah. she probably could be, because that yeah, is that's a, lot. a lot. Honestly, by the time we get over there, she's going to still be there and be like, Huh? What happened? <laughs> Guys, where's Nick? You guys are freaking out. You're acting like someone fell off a bridge. Where's my or got murdered. <laughs> I can't feel my butt. <laughs> I can't feel my buns. Wait a minute. <laughs> buns. <laughs> Burgers. <laughs> Last night, we still hadn't started the training session itself. Oh, um, that's good to hear. Oh, dear, dear. There's one thing I forgot to tell you. Uh-oh. I don't think I like the sound of this. Do you know that small girl? I believe she's Mystic Maya's little sister. There's several small girls. Maya has a little sister? What? <laughs> oh, you mean little Pearl. The one that I always try and give my gun to. <laughs> That's my that. space cousin. Yeah, the one I brought to the shooting range with me, pal. Yeah. <laughs> Little I mean to talk oh. to you about that, Gumshoe. <laughs> stop doing that. You really have to stop that. I thought she was going to visit Mystic Elise after cleaning up dinner. 
but I haven't seen her at all since late last night. She's nowhere to be found. Oh, that's actually fun. I didn't realize nobody has seen Pearl at all. Uh oh. That's slightly concerning. Did she get kidnapped she... by some did she get kidnapped by Shelly the killer? Oh no, not no. again. Pritch, she is the killer. He is. She she's is the Shelley mastermind. The she's she's been hanging out with Shelly the killer on She's off days. she's Mukuro Furusaki. Is that the like character's name? Ikusaba. Ikusaba. <laughs> Fuck. There you go, dang rumpa fans. There you go, we did it. <laughs> Don't ever ask for anything from us again. <laughs> I mean, she, she was with the victim? It's all the fault of my stupid, cranky old bag! The little girl who was with the victim on the night of the murder is gone? As they say, a plot thickens. Come <laughs> shoot, what? this is no time to be making light of this situation. Yeah. A child is missing. Yeah, well. <laughs> she might be dead. Uh, the plot thickens even further. <laughs> uh, somebody said earlier to present Maya. She's a very important visitor, you know. An honored acolyte. Honored? How so? I can't believe that at all. <laughs> Oh. The Faye family... Hold on. The Faye name is synonymous with the Karain channeling technique. Therefore, she must be a spirit medium of great power indeed. Now that you mention it, one year ago, there was a case that was about the master of the Karain channeling technique. Detective, did you just mention the DL6 incident? Papa! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what? Father! No! Not the elevator again! I detest talk of supernatural drivel. I suppose now you'll say she has midi chlorians. They made a fucking Star Wars Whoa. reference? Yeah, midi chlorians are stupid and ruined the franchise. I mean, yes. So, no, I'm not going to talk about midi chlorians. Yeah, wow. I'm fucking shocked they made a Star Wars reference. <laughs> yeah. The phase are means fucking that Star Wars Jedi's. Exists. Star Wars exists in this universe. Yeah. Wow. Well. Do you think you think Edgeworth and Phoenix are sitting down to watch the finale of Obi Wan tomorrow? Oh shit! Yeah, they're getting cozy watching Obi Wan. Mm -hmm. Also, maybe it's fucking maybe it's Will Powers. Him. Oh, <laughs> Will Powers is Obi Wan. No, I, was just, I, was, I thought nope. you were gonna say Will Powers is the one in the the. Well, uh, it's gonna be spoilers for Obi Wan, so I can't say that. Oh, uh, Will Powers goes, "Hello there." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so it gives you the creeps, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? It's got nothing to do with it. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, we're at the point where oh. we have to, like... The, the background oh. actually did change. Uh, yeah. Whoa. There are more Enza cushions in the corner of the room. Ms. Ruth, how do you know what an Enza cushion is? What's that white piece of paper sticking out under, the, under that stack? Huh? Heh, <laughs> beats me. Probably not important. Would you mind checking that for me, Detective Gumshoe? <sighs> hey, yes, sir! Here you are, Mr. Edgeworth! Looks like an old manila envelope. What? I always thought they were called vanilla envelopes. This is crazy. Do you mean they don't taste delicious, pal? Oh, man, I was looking forward to eating that when we <laughs> were eating done them with all it. the time, and I think they do taste delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! What is it, Detective? This. This could be it. An ultra-important clue! A super-special clue! <laughs> I suppose I should read it myself, then. Looks like a letter addressed to Sister Iris. I said read it myself, Gumshoe. <laughs> Tonight at 10 at Heavenly Hall. Unless you want your secret to be exposed. This sounds like a blackmail letter. Oh, no! It was Luke at me again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's becoming surprisingly common in this game. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because Luke at me is everybody, so he's uh -huh. always blackmailing. Uh -huh. Nice going there, Mr. Edgeworth. Why can't I? Why can't I ever find clues like that? You're an ultra important prosecutor, a super duper prosecutor. <laughs> okay. Well, I suppose it takes a super duper kind of dumb to miss a clue like this. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Holy shit, Edgeworth. Wow. Uh, let me take just a quick peace key. So I want to talk to you about I'm waiting for you at 10 at Heavenly Hall. Make sure you come unless you want your secret to be exposed. Oh, oh shit. Okay. More secrets being exposed. Pretty huge. Pretty huge. Pretty huge. It's huge. Okay, let's get to that courtyard. Ooh, look at this brand new place. Oh. Well, wait, how did we get? Wait, how did we get here? I thought this was where. I thought the murder took place across the bridge. No, because Phoenix no. saw the murder, and then tried to cross the bridge. Yeah. Oh. Okay, never mind. Yeah, he tried. He, he tried to cross the bridge because he was like, "Oh, the murderer might still be loose and might be on the other side and could kill Maya." That's what it is. Let me That's run and get is. her. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And this is where the murder took place, sir. Wow. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Other than removing the body, we left everything else untouched. Thanks, Detective. I'll just have a look around. Looks like the police are still investigating. Oh, yeah, by the way, we did touch a couple other things, but not too many. <laughs> I thought I'd better ask, just to be sure. Are you really gonna defend that nun, Iris, at the trial tomorrow? Nah, I just came- I just flew across the world for no fucking reason. Yes, I'm going to. Yes, I will. I gave her my word, and now I must follow through with my commitments. Well, in that case, I gotta be careful. I gotta make sure I don't leak the prosecution's whole investigation. <laughs> don't worry about it, detective. Just keep your mouth closed, and I think most of it will flow out on its own. <laughs> I just, sir, I know exactly what you're saying. <laughs> Very well, Detective. Thankfully, his diarrhea mm. of the mouth is perfect. Why do they have to use that word? Why do they have to use that word? That sucks. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that so much. <laughs> oh, like, shit. Like, people just say word vomit, Edgeworth. <laughs> like, we don't need diarrhea of the mouth. It's diarrhea of the mouth. That's terrible. Uh, That's terrible. Yeah, it's a hereditary, it's a hereditary condition. <laughs> that sucks. Uh... uh... Before we look oh, at this, really let's look at the ladder and see what Edgeworth says about it. The main gate must be just over that stone wall. Ah, stone walls. I jumped over a few of those in my time. Gumshoe through the first brick at Stonewall. Eh? Gumshoe's related to Stonewall Jackson. Happy Pride, everybody. Most of, <laughs> no, well, not Stonewall most of them are good memories. <laughs> most of them are good memories, but not all. What? Uh oh, Gumshoe. <laughs> Detective, perhaps someone should introduce you to the concept of paucity of words? What of, is shutting the, of shutting the fuck up. <laughs> what does the word paucity mean? Shout, shout, shout out to Marsha P. Johnson. <laughs> Presence of something only in small or insufficient quantities or amounts. Scarcity. Hmm. Oh, like a scarcity, like you're saying less. Paucity, Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So the sword from this gold statue is actually the murder weapon. Sure is. It's called a Shichi Shido, by the way. Nasty piece of work, sir. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> There's still blood on it. I suppose this is the victim's blood. No, sir, that's mine. I want to see how sharp it was, so I stabbed myself in the hand. Oh my God. <laughs> I that's can one confirm. Sharp. I can confirm it is sharp. That's one <laughs> sharp shido, sir. God damn it. <laughs> All over the blade. 
Speaking of all over the blade, there are fingerprints all over the hilt of the shitty shit shit o too. Fingerprints? Nah, nah, I don't think so. God, God damn really it! They match the... <laughs> Naturally, they match the prints we got from the younger nun, the defendant. The fingerprints are on the murder weapon. It's over now. Come on. I'm looking really solemn. This is how it is for right. Is this what it's like to be a defense lawyer? I was genuinely oh about to God. say, wait, is this what it's like for right every case? <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah, I figure it doesn't feel really, really good. <laughs> it feels more like it's detrimental to your health. I hope Wright has a fucking therapist. Oh my god. <laughs> you introduce What's this? Mine. Oh no! Oh, she wow. lost her, her wizard orb. Oh shit, yeah. The orb is gone. What's this? It looks like a wizard stuff. That belonged to the victim, Miss Elise Stokes Nim. <laughs> There's nothing strange or magical about it. <laughs> oh yeah! Listen, this is just between us, okay, sir? What? Yes. What? This is top secret stuff. Don't tell anyone about this. All right. Truth is, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a wizard. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I hate I'm you. Going I'm going to kill you one day. I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm so mad. I wanted to be called Gumshoe the Beige. That's it. That's what you wanted to tell me. That's it. The staff was made from a very strong kind of wood. And I should know something about that. What about fingerprints? Were there any on it? There's the victims. Alright. Alright, Gumshoe, what, what, what do you have for us? Victim is the famous picture book author, Miss Elise, Elise Dokes Nim. Do you, would you call that being a picture book author? I... For, they probably for, for prefer to be called authors. Yeah. I mean, I guess. I mean, I guess you would. I guess you would say that she's the famous romance, like romance author, or yeah. the famous. Yeah. I mean, I would say children's author. children's author. Yeah, sure. I guess I would say children's author. Yeah. I, yeah I, I, they're yeah. still sounds like slightly kind of sending We're calling them a picture, a picture book author. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Her entire past up until she won that writing award last year is a total mystery. Huh. It's hard to believe in this day and age you can still find people like that. The estimated time of death that the victim was between 10 and 11 p.m. on February 7th. Cause of death? I thought, for a second, I thought it was cause of death was blood loss. Cause of death was blood loss resulting from a stab to the back by the murder weapon. The murder weapon? The victim was found skewered with a giant sword, sir. That's terrible. Yeah, but there's one strange thing. Yes? The victim's entire body was covered with bruises. Bruises are consistent with falling from the height of a two-story building. Oh, damn. Two-story building? That would be about the same height as that room in front of us, correct? Hey, you're right! Way to go, Mr. Edgeworth! <laughs> it just happens to be the room that Elise Doak Snim was staying in. Maybe she was pushed out of the window after she was stabbed with a sword? Ah, yes, the fabled autopsy report. I can't wait to update this. <laughs> I'm gonna update this so hard. <laughs> I'm gonna update the shit out of you. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Now then, detective. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we can summarize what we've learned so far. 
And so what we have learned applies to our lives today. God has a lot to say in his book. Wow, okay. Shit. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at the map. You see, we know that God's word is for everyone. Now that our song is done, we'll take a look. And now, now to the testimony of. And now Edgeworth's like, wait, fuck, I know that bridge. <laughs> According to the testimony of Sister Bikini, the head nun, she and Maya Fey headed to the inner temple right after dinner was finished. Uh, the, way, the way this was laid. Thank you for showing us that. Yeah, that was <laughs> so long. Thing. At 10 p.m. after ringing the bell for lights out, Iris went to the inner temple. Allegedly. She got there. Bikini had a takeover while she went back to the Hazakura Temple. Excuse me, Hazakura Temple. After taking a hot bath to soothe the back. Sister Bikini witnessed the murder in the courtyard. By a statue. If you want more details, you should ask Bikini herself in the main hall. In a temple, huh? I'd like some more information about that place. Trial begins tomorrow, but who's the prosecutor? I'm pretty sure it's that Gado guy, but... Is it not? Like, we've talked about him enough. Like, if it isn't him, I'm yeah. gonna be kind of pissed. Uh, it's Winston Payne. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> it's your sister. <laughs> Easy, He's back. <laughs> oh, no. Nobody can get a hold of him, so they're looking for a replacement. What do you mean? It's really weird. All of a sudden, no one can reach him. Hmm, I wonder if the rumors are true. Maybe since Mr. Wright caught a cold and won't be defending, he lo he just lost interest. I intend to appear in court in the role of defense lawyer. However, I would be quite unhappy if it came out that I'm actually a prosecutor. <laughs> what? I would be embarrassed if people found out I'm normally on the other side of the courtroom. Also, you're super famous, and a picture book, a famous yeah. children's author was murdered. So people are going to know who you are and then remember, oh, yeah, remember that famous prosecutor who never lost until, like, a few years ago? He's back, and he's a defense lawyer. So people are going to know, my guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If your plans to not be found out, it ain't going to work. Mm -hmm. You've already failed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see why. But I'm not the one you have to worry about. It's the big man upstairs. Hey. No, I, I'm talking about the judge. Yeah, I mean, also, it's going to be the same one fucking judge you've had for the last four years. Like, right. He's going to be like, it just won't die. I think the real problem is going to be that judge. He's going to be like, whoa, uh. Mr. Edgeworth, what are you doing on that side of the table? Well, looks like I finally lost it. Dementia's finally kicked in. I can't <laughs> tell my left from my right anymore. It's just like my yes. brother said. You gotta get a pack of teenies. To calm the <laughs> nerves. Yes, he certainly would remember my face. Even after such a long absence. What if he fucking puts on, like... Mustache, big nose, glasses. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, um, hello, my <laughs> name is Priles Medgeworth. Miles the Prowler Edgeworth. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I requested another judge preside over the case. Oh look, we've only met each other once. There's a good chance he won't remember me at all. Are you establishing oh. why is? Why is he uh, oh, that does not want to be found out? No. I, I, I guess he's like, oh, people will think it's weird if I'm a defense attorney. I guess maybe in Japanifornia, you can't be a defense attorney without a specific badge and he won't have it. 
But then again, don't they check those because Furio Tigre had to make a cardboard one? I don't know. He doesn't. He oh, doesn't, yeah, but he's Phoenix's now. He doesn't want people to know that he did a nice thing for Phoenix. That's true. If people he's think I'm nice, his... it will ruin me. Yeah. <laughs> it will ruin my Sundere reputation. <laughs> I'm a card carrying Sundere. <laughs> yeah, but what a card carrying asshole. <laughs> Every everyone in the prosecutor's office must know you. Wouldn't it be a problem if someone there made a big stink, sir? There's no need to worry. I pulled a few strings and arranged for a prosecutor of my own choosing. Wow, Mr. Edgeworth. I had no idea you had such a powerful string to pull. Yes. What is this inner temple that Maya was supposedly training at? According to Bikini, it's an old building they use for training the Acolytes. It's on the other side of Dusky Bridge. Bridge that burned down, huh? Is there anything else on the other side of that bridge besides the inner temple? Nope. Not a thing. Nothing. The other side is surrounded by cliffs on all sides. In a way, it's kind of like Salt Lake City. It's kind of like a little island out there. So the only thing there is the inner temple. I hear it's not the kind of place a person could survive in. Kind of like Salt Lake City. <laughs> <laughs> Please be all right, Maya. Well, at least he seems to care about Maya this time. <laughs> I like that last time when she was kidnapped and he was not helping us stall that case she out. She was terrible. He was doing a really shit job of helping us stall that case. It yeah. was uh, pretty shitty of him. Uh, somebody, I think it was, it was Giant Penguin, suggested we suggest something that has nothing to deal with anything to Bikini because she has a funny line. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, I think she should say hey, it's something about all of this. Okay, here we uh, go. About this here. Hmm, let me see. Well, as you may know, in order to see reality for what it truly is, we strive to break our attachments to much of the transient material realm. I guess you could call me an immaterial girl. Hey. Hey. She's living in a material world. A material world. And, and I'm she's in an immaterial girl. girl. It's a fucking banger song. Immaterial. I guess she lives in an immaterial world, huh, Mr. Regworth? Yes, Gumshoe. We just made that joke. God. Oh, God. <laughs> fucking catch up, Gumshoe. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> the problem is, is like now all we have to do is go break the two Cyclops. That's like gonna take a while, though. Is it? Uh, I think it's. I think it's. Oh yeah, it's. I mean, uh, we can keep playing if no, you want. No, no fucking jokes. We're not allowed to make any jokes. Okay. We just go straight break these cyclops. You say that. Uh, I'll hold you to Listen, it, Wes. I, I'm not funny. I'm a, I'm a very serious, unfunny. They're gonna boy they're right gonna now. say fingerprints, and you're gonna have to shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh no, my one weakness. <laughs> uh, I don't see Larry anywhere. Maybe we scared the poor kid away. His heart was shut tight with a psycho lock. I guess I'll have to look for him now. Ugh, what a thorn in my side. Uh, go to the bridge. Go back to detention center. Mr. Edgeworth. I came back because I need to ask you a few more questions, if you don't mind. But I... I've already told you everything that I... Iris, please remember. I'm on your side. You can tell me anything. Yes. Thank you. But also, I'm going to read your mind now. <laughs> Actually... Don't bother telling me everything, because I'll just fish it out of you. Hold the phone. Was that the first time we've heard Edgeworth say, take that? Uh, take that. 
That's cool. Wow. Yeah. Video games? When we play when we play uh Investigation. If we ever play the Investigations game, you'll get to see hear him unnaturally say, Eureka! Oh, I don't like that. Uh, I feel very weird whenever he says it. I don't, like, I don't like that. What? <laughs> yeah. Eureka, it's like it's not my favorite. Mm. I don't know. People don't proclaim Eureka yeah. at, with the same like power as like hold it or take yeah. that. Interesting. Since I have been handed this case, it is my duty to dig up all the answers. Understand? Yes, sir. The smallest flame can sometimes bathe a case in a whole new light. In my years in court, I've seen it happen over and over again. That's why I'm committed to searching until I have those answers. Now then. Is it really true that you didn't go to the inner temple last night? Yes, I swear. I already told you that. Yes. You said you didn't go because you were frightened. That's right. If that's the case, then the obvious question is, what were you so afraid of? Eris, I wonder. Is this what frightened you so much that you couldn't even leave your own room? I bet. Ran out. Yeah. Uh, no, sorry. This is the one that I... This autopsy report. Yeah. You knew she was already dead. <laughs> I found this in the main hall. It is addressed to you. Uh, that's... Well, Iris. Why... Why are you glaring at me like that? I was scared of the blackmailer who wrote this to you. Isn't that correct? Ah! Was it the evidence or the power of my glare that broke that lock? <laughs> Probably the glare. Oh, it's definitely the glare. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I don't suppose it matters either way. But, Mr. Edgeworth. Yes? I thought that letter was just someone playing a prank on me. Really? Prank. A prank? Really? Well, yes. After all, even if I did have a secret, there's no one to tell it that would cause me any grief. As I've killed them all. Yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, what? Mm. Anyone I left wonder to about that. Me. Sister Bikini is like a mother to me would never hide anything from her. Oh, you may not have anything to hide under normal circumstances. However, last night was different. Unfortunately, I don't know the exact nature of your secret yet. However, once I get 4chan on it, they'll dox the shit out of you and Jesus. I'll know soon enough. No. However, <laughs> whatever it is, there is one person you didn't want your secret told to. Larry. <laughs> Pearl Fay. <laughs> That's why you made her disappear. Using your wizard magic. Is it is it Phoenix or is it Bikini? I think I it's think it has I see like it's Phoenix, right? I, it's Phoenix. I feel like it's Phoenix. Yeah, because she acted weird. Yeah. Phoenix right. Uh you mean something to write, it seems. But I can tell he holds a special place in your heart as well. That's why you didn't want him, of all people, to know your deep, dark secret. Well, what do you have to say? I should have expected as much. Especially from a friend of his. Werber. Yes. I'm a true psycho now. <laughs> <laughs> After dinner, this letter was waiting for me in my room. As I said, I was frightened by it. What is this heavenly hall the letter mentions? It's a small mountain shack at the base of Dusky Bridge. Small shack, huh? It's more like a broken-down shack that no one would ever want to go near. 
Hey, I have feelings too, you know. Hmm. Where is it on the map? You know, hmm. here, where it really should be, because there's a path going to it. Yeah, what? It's around here. Together, you must follow a small path down from Dusky Bridge. The reality is, to get to the Inner Temple, I had no choice but to cross that bridge. The thought of that... But the thought that such a terrible criminal could be lurking at Heavenly Hall... I was so scared by the whole affair that I didn't want to think about it at all. So is this the secret that you locked away in your heart? Yes. It looks as though I might have to visit this heavenly hall now. Maybe I'll find some sign of our mystery blackmailer. In any case, you still claim to have never left your room last night. Yes, that's exactly right. The trial starts tomorrow. I promise you, I will win. I'm going to win so that you and Phoenix Wright can see each other again. But when I do, you must promise me that you will tell him your secret. It's pointless. How would you say that? Because I may know who Phoenix Wright is no idea who I am. Hmm. 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 I just finished speaking with the head nun of Hazakura Temple. She testified very clearly as to what happened. She said she saw you stab Miss Elise Stone in with a sword. And one other thing. She said that when Maya Fey began her training at the Inner Temple... You were there as well. What? When I spoke with you last night, you, when I spoke with you last, you claimed that you never went to the Inner Temple. And yet, Sister Bikini says she met with you at the Inner Temple that very night. But, but I... I didn't go there. I didn't go to the Inner Temple last night. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Okay, okay. Well. Uh, let's head on back. Hey, sir. I was waiting in this exact spot for you. Oh, we can I go. I never moved. We can go to the Heavenly Hall now. The Heavenly Hall. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. Larry God, just fucking it... drawing shit everywhere. Check out our love nest. Yeah, that's... Oh, that's incredible. That's where, that's where, that's where, that's where he the... draws a shitty stick figure of Iris and then jerks off to it. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Praise, we said no jokes. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh... I missed that part. <laughs> I, I said no jokes. Pridge is... Immune uh, from Pritch, not yeah. having to make jokes. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> also, he still has the fucking Steel Samurai Dog flags. He does! Oh my god, I forgot about that. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa, not much of a view down here, huh? Whoa, this place sucks. <laughs> it's still better than the view from my apartment, though. Someone's here. Hide yourself, detective. Does he have to hide himself? I don't I don't want anyone to see me with you. It's too <laughs> embarrassing. <coughs> oh, why, why, why? Why does this always happen? Whenever I find a girl I like, they always run away. And I'm such a nice guy, too. <laughs> God damn it. Uh I even chased one of them to Tibet. This is gonna be prison, I guess. Larry, <laughs> Larry, I wonder what kind of murders I'll ha I'll steal that detective's wallet. That'll get me locked up for sure. Ah, I can't do that to someone who looks like he's down on his luck. Oh <laughs> uh, wow. 
He's literally She's trying to get himself thrown himself. in jail because if so, I, I, we need gotta do everything we can to make that dream come true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give him all sorts of crimes to commit. Yeah, he's just talking to himself. Shh, be quiet and listen. I knew it. I shouldn't have done that. I blew it again. Done that? What did he do? I oh, wonder. No. About what you just said, I got an objection. God damn it, Gumshoe. What the? Edgy? You dirty rat! Gumshoe, you oaf. I'm sorry, sir. Before I knew it, I was shouting out objection. And in a loud, commanding voice, too. I even pointed with my pointer figure. You've watched too many trials. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like part of his job, though. <laughs> okay, Larry, the jig is up. What have you got to say for yourself? What is this little shack, anyway? Well, I just discovered it myself yesterday. And why were you down here in the first place? Uh, <laughs> come on! I'm an artist! I was looking for a good place to sketch! This is a great little place! It's, a uh, artistic! It's quiet, it's cold, it's got no power, and it looks like it's about to collapse! <laughs> Sounds a lot like my apartment there, pal. <laughs> Damn! One thing's for sure, no one is likely to show up and disturb you here. So, can I get you something to drink? Some hot water, maybe? <laughs> He's getting all buddy-buddy on us, sir. Time to get all buddy-cop on him. Also, uh, Antelus Richard, $5.69, which does, in fact, get our, our donation goal to $690.69. Nice. Immaculate. Nice. Immaculate. Incredible. Incredibly nice. Listen to me, Edgy. You've got to do this. You've got to save Iris. Why are you so sure she's innocent? Because she's cute? Shut your mouth! Anyway, I've made up my mind about it. I'm going to marry that girl. Um... Mr. Edgeworth is pretending he didn't hear you, so I'm going to ask for him. <laughs> Have you already asked this girl to marry you? No, no, not yet. I can tell how she feels by the look in her eyes. When she tells me to get lost, I can just really tell how much she cares. She's got this, I really want this man to carry me over the threshold look. I'm sure Nick would be surprised. What? He never imagined that I could marry such a beautiful girl like that. Something tells me he would be shocked indeed. That's why I didn't want her to do anything dangerous. I mean, what am I going to do if she gets hurt? Find another girl to marry? Well, now that I mention it, that's a pretty good idea. God damn it. What is this guy trying to say? He lost me about a mile back. Hmm. If you really want to know the answer to that, we're going to have to drag him out onto the witness stand. To think of it, you still haven't answered my question. Where were you and what were you doing last night? Oh man, don't you have anything else to talk about? With that kind of attitude, you'll never be a ladies man like me. Larry. Okay, okay, chill out with those scary eyes. I got it. If you really want to know, last night I saw something incredible. Something incredible. Larry? Larry? Did you did you drill a hole in the bathroom, Larry? Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> a hole in the wall where the men can see it all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But let's not talk about that now. Let's talk about the good old days. What do you say? Come on, I'll pour you a nice cup of hot water. <laughs> I love the running joke of like, I've got hot water, huh? That's uh -huh. pretty exciting. 
Why hasn't he realized? Absolutely despise hot water. Absolutely <laughs> despise talking about the good old days, especially with him. All right, let's make it's it. my money, Larry. Let's make a time with this <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Where's my money, Larry? <laughs> Lawrence. All right. You're donezo. All right. Now you're going to tell me what you really saw last night. Whoa, you're really upset, aren't you, Edgy? Okay, I'll talk. Huh? That was a bit too easy. Yeah, anyway, it was awesome. <laughs> Never seen anything like it. <laughs> At around 10 o'clock last night, it started thundering. Okay, well, but, like, this actually is cool. Yeah, yeah. So, he's not lying. Yeah. I've been sleeping. I'm not sure for how long. Suddenly, ding! The world in front of me went white. I had just been slapped in the face by my old girlfriend, Naomi. <laughs> God damn it. Hey! Wasn't Naomi actually the name of one of his ex-girlfriends? I don't then. think so. I mean, it's entirely and possible. Then, yeah. It was on fire! The bridge was on fire! Husky Bridge caught on fire? Are you saying you saw it with your own eyes? Hey, why are you giving me the evil eye? I'm telling the truth! Hmm. There are still three psycho locks remaining. That means he's still trying to hide something. By the way, Larry, where were you when you saw that happen? Where, you say? What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? Just answer the question. I was in my own room, uh, by the main hall. Where else would I be? As usual, you're as transparent as an empty jelly jar. <laughs> what a metaphor. <laughs> the problem, I suspect, lies there. <laughs> there? What do you mean, there? It's impossible for you to have seen lightning strike Dusky Bridge from your room. Uh, probably the map. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Nope. Which one's the map? Oh, yeah. No, he definitely can't see it. Oh, Boom! Yeah, no. Oh, no, no, no. Go back to the evidence. Take that! you. Gotcha. Take that! This is a map of the area. Take a look around the vicinity of Hazakura Temple. What am I looking for? I think that should be fairly obvious. The main hall is surrounded by trees, and it's impossible to see the bridge from there, from here. What? Why didn't you tell me that before? I'm not trying well... to help you, Larry. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out why I'm a fucking liar. Well, how about it? How about what? Do you feel like talking now? How about what? God damn it, Larry. It looks like it won't be that easy after all. You leave me no choice. I'll have to move on to the next step. You weren't in your room at the temple. So then, where were you? You don't know that I wasn't in my room. So where was Larry and why was he there? He was in the heavenly Yeah, well, he's where, where we're at right now. If I've read the situation up to this point correctly, the answer is fairly obvious. Very well, then. Let's test my theory. In my dance of deduction, <laughs> the place you witnessed lightning striking Dusky Bridge was from here. Uh, he was on the bridge. The lightning yeah. struck him. He died. This Whoa. is his ghost. I can see ghosts now. <laughs> the place you saw the lightning strike was from, naturally, Heavenly Hall. Why would I be hanging out in this old shack? It's freezing cold, there's no electricity, and it could fall apart at any minute. Larry, how do you know that anyway? <laughs> how do you know there's no electricity? After all, it's not that dark yet. I... Uh-oh. <laughs> In other words, you have just provided evidence to prove my theory. My theory that you've at least once in your life visited Heavenly Hall after sunset. 
I have to admit, I'm impressed, Edgy. <laughs> You're in a totally different league from Nick. That's nice. Now tell me. <laughs> what were you doing at this cold little shack last night? That's what you might call a fair decor. What? I think you I mean a fair decor. <laughs> you fucking moron. <laughs> Could it be you were waiting for someone? Oh, no! <laughs> you really are one scary guy, you know? <laughs> I believe that last night you were waiting for this person to come meet you. Wait, no. Don't tell me that he was the one that wrote the shitty letter to Iris to get her to come to oh, Heavenly Hall. that would be... That would be the worst. Does it say to come to Heavenly Hall? Yeah, that's why he was waiting there. <laughs> oh my god, he fucking wrote her a fake blackmail letter. <laughs> no, you fucking moron. Oh my god, that's not how you do it, my guy. My brother in Christ. You fucking moron. <laughs> There's only one person you'd wait for in a horrible <laughs> place like this, Larry. Larry, what? I told you before. Don't call me Larry. I don't remember this at all. <laughs> I don't remember this either. The person you were waiting for was Iris. <gasps> oh, suddenly I feel cold all over, Edgy. Pour yourself some hot water, you fucker. Ah! <laughs> No doubt because of my chilly glare. <laughs> so you think I got the hots for Sister Iris, huh? Yes. You have some kind of evidence? She's all you talk about, fucko. You got something that proves I was waiting for her? Or are you just guessing? <sighs> where I draw the line and end this ridiculous little game. Here's the evidence that you were waiting for Iris. I hate him so much. <laughs> No! Here's your evidence. You called her to this spot with a pathetic blackmail letter. Oh! Hey, hey! Give that back! You're embarrassing me. What are you doing with that anyway? That's not important. I misjudged you, Larry. Did You're you? even bigger of a piece of shit than I thought. What do you mean? Taking advantage of a woman's frailty like that? You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh. oh! First of all, what's this at the top of the letter? It says, salutation here? Well, that's what it said in that book. Letter writing for dummies. We're not supposed to actually write that. That's where you're supposed to write, dear Iris. Wow! I'm so sorry! Damn! Damn! God, he's such a piece of shit. It's so good. Oh my god, he's literally just like the fucking worst human ever. <laughs> god damn it. So you were here in Heavenly Hall last night, were you not, Larry? And you saw the lightning hit Dusky Bridge, didn't you? I'm sorry, Edgy. Sorry didn't cut it, you scumbag. Threatening a young lady like that. Yeah, Gumshoe, fucking get him. You should have at least given her your gun first. <laughs> no. Hey, hold up. But now, pal. What are you talking about? What threatening stuff? Larry, did you not read the letter you wrote to her? I'll tell you what. You tried to scare Iris by threatening to expose his secret, pal! What do you mean, threaten? Why did I threaten her? <sighs> Unless you want your secret to be exposed. It sure sounds like a threat to me, pal. Blackmail, in fact. Give me a break, it's a love letter! Have you ever been in love? God, Larry, you are the fucking canonical incel of this goddamn franchise. It's very sad, but yes. What did you just say? My love for her burns so hotly, it could melt all the snow on this mountain. I first read that as my love for her burns so horny. <laughs> and I hate that. <laughs> I mean, it's not wrong. Yeah. Oh. 
then what is this secret you mentioned? Come on, Edgy. Don't you get it? I'm talking about the secret love between her and me. Obviously, she wouldn't want old Lady Bikini to know about it, right? About our hot and sour, bittersweet love affair. Hot and sour? Please stop. <laughs> oh my god, this character needs to die. <laughs> Uh, he deserves to die. All right, then why did you send a love letter in a business-like manila envelope? Give me a break. It's not my fault I didn't have any other envelopes. Yeesh. <laughs> and why were you so quick to apologize, pal? It's because Edgy gave me that scary look of his. I hate you so much. What's wrong, Edgy? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? That's it. That's all those huge locks were about? I, I don't understand why you were so defensive. Well, I don't know either. I guess the thing is... You shouldn't expect too much from a guy like me. Hey, come on. Don't let it get you down. God. But Mr. Edgeworth... This guy is still hiding something. I know it. What do you mean, detective? I'll forget what this guy said just a minute ago. If you really want to know, last night uh, I saw something incredible. Hmm. He's right. Larry. What? You're looking at me like a hungry dog that just found a bone. <laughs> Was this something incredible you saw last night? You're going to tell me, Larry, one way or another. Final dialogue of the of the chapter. I I already told you, didn't I? <laughs> I saw lightning strike Dusky Bridge. Yes, and I believe it was the incredible sight you saw. But now that I think about it, something doesn't quite ring true. What doesn't? If that's all there is to your story, your heart wouldn't have had all those locks. Yes, Larry. I believe you saw something last night. Something more incredible than lightning. What? When? Where? Why? How? Hey, what do you think you're doing? If you hide anything from Mr. Edgeworth, I'll arrest you on the spot, pal. Uh... Ah! Motherfucker. <laughs> What's wrong, sir? Does this mean I have to do it all over again? Why are you glaring at me like that? Uh, why are you glaring at me like I'm next to be hit by a bolt of lightning? I've just about had it with this hard <laughs> thing. If I, rec if I really want to drag the truth out of him... I'll just have to drag him to the witness stand. Damn. <laughs> oh, Jeez. Fuck what? Larry. I genuinely cannot express how far, when I realized that Larry was the <laughs> Larry was the one that blackmailed Iris. Holy shit. Oh. He's the worst. Uh, folks, that's gonna do it for another week's episode of Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. Again, if you like this, you can catch it live on twitch.tv slash team every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you want to support us, head over to patreon.com slash team. Throw us a couple bucks. Keep the lights on. Uh, but until next time, court is adjourned. Uh, Soapy, but with the boys out of action, who's left to handle the investigation? The chatlets are very excited to help. <laughs> It's the Chatlets. So, uh, did you get the go-ahead for this, or...? Yeah, totally! We talked to Zack! Hey, Zack, we're, we're taking the Megatama, Lamau! What? Talked at him, but it's basically the same thing! <laughs> yeah, that, that's what you all sound like. <laughs> that's what you all sound like, by the way. <laughs> <laughs>
And this is great. I love this. This this gif is amazing. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Sophie. Uh, Yen, based on a throwaway joke from Wes last week. Excited for the stream. Thanks for looking at my silly arts. Of course. Mr. Nick, Boy. I know how much spirit channeling has helped your cases. This month's issue of Oh Cult has a way for even you to increase your spirit. Oh my god, Nick, you have to do this. I don't know about this, Maya. Would this really help your spirit channeling? Huh? Oh yeah, sure, spirit channeling. Your spirit <laughs> something. <laughs> <laughs> Prosecutor Edgeworth? What was that about an updated autopsy report? Edgeworth? Damn you right. It's better not awaken anything within me. We have spirit. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, 10 out of 10 for Zvari Chop on the uh, back of the occult magazine. Yes. That's really good. <laughs> You're going to love my... You're going to love my nuts. <laughs> Thank you so much, Yen. This is really cute. Uh, James, finally I can share my Fiendris art. Go for it, Phoenix. Yo! Oh, this is super so cute. cute. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This fucking kicks ass. James, that's so that's so cool. Also love the pan pride pin on him. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Infamously dorky with an animatic. Uh, I don't think we'll get attack for the audio on this. Although it, it's a it's a college humor uh, audio clip, but I, I think we'll be okay. If that were to happen to me, whoa, everything would go off the rails. Suddenly the dream I had would come to a full stop. Suddenly all the dreams in my head I would have to drop. Everything I've been working for and building in my life, I would have to throw it to the side. That's a ticket to know. Young girl. <laughs> uh, Dorky, that's fucking incredible. Amazing. Uh, very, very good. Can me if I'm wrong? I feel like that was like a, a, a what do you call it? Like an improv musical song, which is fucking incredible too on their end. But yeah, uh, seriously, that was immaculate. Uh, Dorky, you fucking crushed it. Uh, ATM. L Larry is a fake confirmed. Also, I have some lighthearted Miego as an opener. Uh, next week, I plan to go all sad. Uh, the Gatewater Honeymoon Suite. Oh. So, that was traumatic. Yeah. I couldn't convince my own client he was innocent. I think I helped a man kill himself just to drink. I can't... I can't go to court ever again. Just knowing she's free wakes me, makes me ill. I got an idea to help with this. Have you heard of the Gatewater Hotel? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, these poor guys to get together after? <laughs> yeah, it do be wild. It do be wild that they get together after that case. Uh, Ambre, back at it again with the long-running jokes and some boys working out. I'm afraid to tell you, but you've been pronouncing my name wrong. It's uh, it's pronounced Embry. Damn it. Marshall! 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 Bambina. Marshall, what the... Marshall, what happened? Bambina. Yes? I... I... I can finally say... I got shot in Texas. That's really good. <laughs> Marshall, we're in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> dies <laughs> incredible 
That's very good. That's really good. Uh, Cinder Clouds, been waiting a chance to show her off and present to you sprite redraws with Snow Leopard Iris. Dang. These are really good. These are very good. Yeah. The Cry Eye one is fucking fantastic. Yeah, she makes she makes a good little Snow Leopard. Yeah. Wow. These fucking kick ass. Thank you so much. Corona Wizard had some leftover sketches from previous cases, and I finally finished them up. Starting off, here's Lisa Basil, GLaDOS crossover. I started with, which led to a bunch of doodles based on a spur of the moment, Ace Attorney, Portal 2 AU. <laughs> shit oh okay. my god whoa that's so good yeah with maya as chell that's fucking awesome uh, that's <laughs> i love that oh it's you <laughs> oh my and god. phoenix is wheatley oh my god oh Wait, that's really? so cute up in, up oh, in the corner I didn't, I didn't see the hair on it that's so good <laughs> <laughs> that's immaculate that's chrono wizard i love that oh god I gotta, I gotta go back and play Portal too. Oh my it's god! And game. Damon Gant as, what's his face Johnson is like such a good. Oh, choice. is Cave Johnson? Cave Johnson, yeah. yeah. It's got me thinking. And Marvin gives you lemons. Yes. Don't just make lemonade. Yes. Make Marvin take the lemons back. You know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your office down with the lemons, Marvin. <laughs> I'm going to get my science officers to invent a combustible lemon that'll burn your office down. That's so good. That's so good, Corona Wizard. <laughs> Plita, with the first time, or Plita, drawing, first time drawing Iris, hope it's not too rough. I could be your angle or your devil. <laughs> uh, that <laughs> it's very good. good no, this is super dope. Heck yeah. Thank you so much. That's awesome. And uh, first time poster too, so thank you. Uh, Yay, love. I'm not sure if they'll get this detail in the playthrough, but there's a line where Edgeworth says Phoenix was wearing Iris's hood in the hospital. This is an old comic I made about it. Edgeworth, I need you to defend Iris <laughs> with me in the hospital. You're her only hope. What the fuck are you wearing, right? For the <laughs> love of God, take it off. <laughs> That is a hundred percent what would fucking happen, and I love this. <laughs> Thank you, Yane. Uh, Kasevelin, uh, I drew a swap AU between Iris and Miles. I wonder if there are any fanfics of this already. Yo, oh, these designs dude. are good as shit. Yeah, <sighs> I love this. These are fucking rad. Yeah, hell yeah. Thank you so much. I fucking love that. Shit. Yo, yes. <laughs> this pearl brain is so good. <laughs> it's terrifying, but it's so good. Holy shit. That's incredible. Wow. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> 